Hey guys, Mike Garrison here with LiveRC.com. Welcome back to the garage for another Thursday Testimonials product review. One thing that anybody that owns an RC car, whether it be nitro electric, whether you're a racer, a basher, you're headed to the local track, your local skate park, or across the world for the world championships, everybody needs a charger. Well, one of the most talked about chargers and the newest on the market right now is the Sky RC B6 Nano. Its tiny design and its claimed capabilities are what caught my eye. Well, needless to say, I went out and bought myself one. And this is this week's Thursday Testimonials. All right, so we've got it all set up here. This is the SkyRC B6 Nano Charger. And as you can see, just sitting here, sitting next to our shorty pack that we're getting ready to charge, it is not that much bigger than the battery itself. We've got it plugged into our power supply. Now, the power supply is not included. You are on your own for a power supply. SkyRC's got a number of power supplies, or if you're personal power supply that you already own meets specs, you can use it as well. I'm using my own. This charger has XT60 input and XT60 output plugs. That was a little different for me as most of my chargers use um, standard bullet connectors such as going into your battery for input and output. The input plug is included. The output plug, I did have to go purchase that and I just simply um, you know, resoldered my standard connecting wires to make that work for the output side. All right, so on the charger here, we have a, plug, or a up, down, and stop button. Quite frankly, I've used the stop button. I've never used the ups or downs because that is not how this charger is meant to be used. It is meant to be used using the Sky Charger free iOS or Android app. That is correct. It is free. So you download the app using Bluetooth. When you open up the app, it connects to your charger, and this right here is your charge screen. This is how you control all of your charging. So you open it up and the first thing it does, it gives you an alert that says, please set up your password. You can set up a password to allow people into your SkyRC Charger app or you can ignore it. I choose to ignore it um, just for the fact that if somebody feels like coming along and charging my battery for me, they are more than welcome to. No password necessary. Here on the main screen, we choose our battery type, uh, then our number of cells, one through six cells, operation mode. We have balance charge, charge, discharge, storage, and fast charge. Then we have the scan to go option. Now I haven't done it on this battery just because I want to show you the manual method of going through this, but scan to go, what you do with scan to go is you pre-program in your charge settings per battery. So if you've got a certain battery you want to charge one way and another battery you want to charge another way, you save those in there, print off the QR code, tape them, stick them, whatever. You put the QR code on your battery, then you simply scan it and boom, it automatically goes straight to those charge settings, which is, I think is a fantastic feature of this SkyRC charger and something that's very cool, especially if you have a variety of different batteries that you want to charge at different amps and, uh, you know, balance charge this, discharge that, da, 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 da. There, especially also if you have different battery types as well, it makes it easy to uh, navigate without having to do all this. But we're going to go through the manual way here so I can show you how this works. LiPo, this is a two cell. I'm going to go with a balance charge. Simply click next. Now we choose our charge current. This charger here, it charges from 0.1 up to 15 amps in 0.1 amp increments. Uh, discharge rate is 0.1 to 3 amps. So we're going to, uh, why not, let's give it a 15 amp zap. That right there is the go tone, just like a race, and it's off and running. This is our main screen, which is my favorite screen of them all. This gives you all the details. This is your, your main control panel, uh, if you want to call it that. Tells you your battery type, your number of cells, the current going in, the current voltage, the capacity, the duration, the charge temperature, and my favorite part, the battery fuel gauge. So if you're an experienced racer, you know, hey, I'm almost at 8.4 volts. This battery is almost charged. But if you don't want to try and figure out all that math, or you may not know exactly, you know, the voltage that your battery is going to go to or exactly where you're at and that kind of thing, it's easy to look at this battery fuel gauge. This battery is 99% charged. Down here, we've got each cell. It tells you what the voltage of each cell is. Um, and then over here, the number of charges. That applies when you use the QR code um, as far as how many times you've charged this battery. But again, I don't have the QR code on this one, so that is irrelevant for this. Then you head over here to the charger. A lot of the same info, current voltage capacity, 99%. It's a LiPo 2 cell, yada, yada, yada. So how this works, again, your phone has to be connected with Bluetooth. It works best if you leave the app open, that way you can keep an eye on things. And this is basically the screen of your charger, per se, as opposed to having a big charger with a big touch screen in it. You've got your phone here. If you close out of the app, if you become disconnected, uh, it does not disrupt the charging. The charging continues. 
So if you walk away with your phone or you shut your phone down and your phone dies or whatever, the charging continues as it was set to do so. And when it's done, it'll let you know it's done. You just unplug it. Or if you want to stop it for some reason and restart, you can simply press the stop button here. And when you reopen, or if you want to leave it, you can reopen the app and it should reconnect. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first download the SkyRC Charger app, I did have some troubles. It had some errors and it was locking up and glitching. I simply deleted the app. I reloaded it again and I've had no problems ever since. Overall, this is a $60 unit available from SkyRC. Online, online stores, local hobby shops. Um, a lot of local hobby shops are becoming dealers for SkyRC. Uh, so check with your local shops, you know, and, and shop around online as well if need be. But check around for your local shops, support your local tracks. The $60 purchase of this, I'm extremely happy with. The overall size of it is incredible, especially if you're traveling. The capabilities that I want to do, which is up to 15 amps, and I know for a lot of stock racers, they want to discharge at crazy rates. This only discharges at 3 amps. For me, that is more than enough. I'm running the mod class with, you know, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive buggy. I don't need to discharge my battery at crazy high amperage and all that kind of stuff. So this gets the job done. So, again, 60 bucks. It's the size of a battery. Easy to transport. It does take a little work, like I say, if you're like me, because I'm not familiar with using XT60 plugs. Pretty much everything I have is, is bullet connectors. So I did have to get me some XT60 plugs. The app, so far, knock on wood, has worked great after I reloaded it. It's very easy to use, very easy to understand. The SkyRC people um, were very easy to work with. And when I did have trouble with the app, I went to them, and their support was phenomenal. They were very quick to get back with me, very understanding. They said, hey, do this, do that, do that. And... Um, Basically, we were able to solve the problem. So overall, very happy with this charger, very impressed with its size. The cool fact that we're, if you're like me, you're buried in your phone anyway, instead of getting lost in somebody's Facebook feed, now I can get lost in balance charging my LiPo batteries. So hats off to SkyRC. I think they did a fantastic job with this. Very happy with my purchase. Overall, I got to give it a five out of five. Uh, great job to SkyRC. And again, more information is available on SkyRC's website. That's SkyRC.com. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week for another edition of Thursday Testimonials Product Review.